Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz. How much is too much for your wedding party? The bridesmaids dresses, the tuxes, that's just the beginning for the bridal party. You've got the showers, right? You've got the gifts. Maybe, you know, when they get engaged, first you give a little a little gift, a little something, then you've got a shower, then you've got a bachelor and bachelorette parties. In some cases, you know, they're kind of fun because you go to on a trip right, and you go right. away. Uh, and then of course, you've got the wedding gift. Yeah. And then sometimes Adds it's up. the homecoming gift. I mean, the housewarming gift. Right. And, and then the baby gifts and the baby showers and everything like that. It goes on and on. And while it's fun to celebrate your friends and family's marriages, where do you draw the line? Because, you know, what starts is like a small celebration and just wanting to celebrate the marriage of two people coming together ends up costing you a lot of money. I do have a friend that just went through this very recently where she was invited to a friend's wedding down south. Okay. okay? She's a bridesmaid, so she has to, you know, travel several times yes. we're talking about. Then the, the bride decided she wanted to have a pre-wedding event. Yeah. My friend said, I have to draw the line. Draw How it? do I do How, it? Well, what was the bride's my response? best advice, well, sh my best advice to her to tell the bride was do it early. Don't yes. sit there and stress about how am I going to tell her, when am I going to tell her. If you're having the qualms about spending the money, yeah. do it right away. Yeah. The bride actually was very understanding. And so I think my friend got worked up okay. for really no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think there because you want to be A lot there. of brides are understanding because yeah. there is a lot involved financially yeah. when you're in it. I right. mean, and it seems to go on. I mean, you've been you've been in uh, several yeah. Several well, my, my sister's uh, 31, 31 now, so yeah. she, she lives in California. She is flying home two to three times a summer yeah. for best friends' weddings. Yeah. She's always one of the bridesmaids if it's yeah. a close friend. Uh, so, you know, there goes the dress. I mean, it just adds up. As a, I had a couple weddings last year to go to. One of them I was in. The tuxedo's close to two hundred bucks. Uh, you know, it, it's a yeah. close friend. It's worth it, but. You know, by the time the bachelor party's done, by the time you're done with the tux, by the time you, you know, give a gift and whatnot, yeah. it, you know, it's a thousand bucks. And if you have two or three of these a year, oh, yeah, because thankfully, every thankfully most of my friends are as immature as me, so only a couple of them <laughs> have gotten married. But, I mean, it adds up. If you have two or three a summer, you know, How about this? a few grand. My two siblings, twins, last year got married within three months of each other. Oh, my gosh. And I have three children. Oh. Yeah. So you add me, the husband, the three kids. And Little they ones all, that are growing out of their suits. But probably. they were yeah. all cognizant of that, too, that they actually said, you know what, the girls should wear the same uh, the same uh, dresses as flower girls. Good idea. We'll just spruce it up with a different belt That's a great and call idea. it a day. It really is you know? a great idea because, you know, you've also got the shoes. Right. You've got the hair. You've got the makeup. I mean, there yeah. are lots of incidentals that start to add up. And I remember, you know, when, when you're, you're 16 and everybody's got their sweet 16s because everybody's turning 16 mm -hmm. at the same time, sometimes it feels like everybody's getting married. Right. Yeah. And, you know, and oh, then and beyond. All at once. At all at once and it really is a huge commitment and not people don't understand that all the time because I think you know you get showered with love yeah and, and it's very nice and it, the celebrations go on and on and on I mean this pre-wedding celebration yeah, and, and you don't really have to pay for anything you know I mean yeah. obviously if it's your bachelor party your bachelorette party right. everybody's joining in and kind of taking care of you people my, forget that yeah, yeah. My, yeah my cousin who I love dearly and had one of the most spectacular weddings uh, I've ever been to actually had two bachelorette parties <laughs> she lives in Los Angeles she had one in Vegas Yes, yeah. for all our Los Angeles friends, but then had one in California, uh, one in New York, rather. Yeah. I mean, by coastal yeah. and, you know, expected my sister, who was in the wedding, to kind of to try to both. do both. Yeah. And my sister, I mean, you know, was, I'm sure it was tough on her because I remember her speaking to my mom about it, but she had to say, you know, yeah. I can't do Vegas and New York. At, some, time, at one, some point, you have to period. say no because you have to say, we're going on and on and on with this, but I think you're right. If you give a lot of advance notice yeah. and you say, listen, you mean a lot to me, but I just can't. Mm -hmm. I just can't swing just can't. it. I think yep. people understand that. Yeah. I want to throw it over to Courtney Caligiri because she's uh, talking with people this on the uh, live vlog this morning, and uh, our viewers, I'm sure, are are chit chatting about this this morning. Court. He's sharing some stories on the live blog and on Facebook. So we'll get to FoxProvidence.com first, as usual. This one's from Lisa, and she says she's only been in one wedding party, and it was a simple wedding, so it wasn't any trouble at all. And she said, and it wasn't much money either for her, so it was fine. But she goes on to say, you know, you do want to support the bride and groom, but if it gets too much, then it's frustrating. And our own Michelle Muscatello is weighing in also, and she thinks she uh, that being honest about your limitations is key. She says, but also I always think that friends did it for our wedding, so we'll do it for theirs in return. It's just how it goes. And we have a poll here right underneath the live blog. Have you ever felt overextended as part of the bridal party? Your choices are A, yes, it's a huge time and cash commitment, or B, no, I'm glad to be 
tea there for the bride. And I've also posted a buzz story there as well if you guys want to read that this morning. We have, we're hearing from some guys on our Roadshow Facebook page and uh, they're just going on to say they don't have any responsibility with weddings and they look forward to the bachelor party. So that's, that's their end there. But we'll see what you guys all said in the poll and I'll have those results in about a half hour. So for now back to the kitchen. Lily, what's going on?